I just got into fish kill. Now I had to pee like a racehorse, so I ran straight to the hotel, checked in. I'm glad I did because the room's AC was not on at all. So turned that on, cranked it down to 60, and fired up maps. And here I am at Tiaronda Hat Factory. Now, this is this was an Urbex find, and it is fenced off, and there are signs posted about it being private property, no trespassing, dangerous area, hard hat use required, so on and so forth. But let's see what we can get into. And what would this place be without the obligatory dick pics? You know, I walked around <laughs> the landlocked side and I didn't find any easy way in because I'm not going out of my way to break in, nor am I climbing shit too fat for that. So let's see what we find this way. Now this may not provide any kind of entry point either, but I don't like to rule anything out before I know. Huh. Well. Hmm. Huh. What is this? I wonder if the old the water I wonder if the water is always coming through here like that or if there's just been a surge of rain and she's super active and noisy love that sound private property no trespassing private property no trespassing private property no trespassing private property no trespassing you rang Giant black nipple you have there. Well, can't quite get through there, but hmm. there's a gap back here. Definitely a place I want to do the sexies. Yeah, see if I can get in and out of here without catching AIDS. Hey, what's up with these guys and these nipples? Hmm. Bah! More padlocked fences. Uh, sun's getting a little low. Let's see what we can see in here.
Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Mad shit brewing right now. <sighs> there is an entryway there, but I really don't want to go through the dirt to get in. And my guess is this is. Not really a way in, just a way out. <sighs> really gotta drop a dookie. <sighs> All right. Well, that kind of does it for day one, spot one. Just because, I mean, there's a lot of people up and down this street. There's literally a park right there. I mean, this guy's coming to do some fishing. But even more than that, I found two or three entry points, and we'll call this one a no-go. Well, since we're here, right across the street from that, let's check out the park see what's right up here fat ass probably be huffing and puffing in about six seconds <laughs> oh I can see it now I don't know there's some falls up here Let's see what this is all about oh nice looks like there's still somewhere to get up here Soprano. Like a drainage run off there and then very nice. The worst part is, you know that's there because some dumbass did it. Ugh. <coughs> Woo. Whew. Humidity is definitely up here today. Yes, I will get to you in a minute. Get this thing started. Oh. Where were you when I needed you a few minutes ago? <laughs> Us big guys. It doesn't take much to make us moist. Ooh. Wow. Well, I hope this finds all you guys well. I know it's been a long time since we've really had any FaceTime here, and pardon my. I didn't bring a tripod with me, so I've got laptop on top of pillows with phone hanging from laptop. Um, but you know, sometimes life has a way of just kind of taking all the wind out of your sails. And I know we've all experienced this at some time or another, but 
Sometimes things come along that they, they hit you hard. They just take all the wind right out of your sails. They kind of take, they seem to just suck all of the energy out of you and your desire to want to do things. And that's what happened when I fell off months and months ago. Um, not going to get into any great details today, but here and there, you know what? I, I'm ready to start talking. And I'm going to talk here. I'm going to talk here because I know there's other people going through things. I'm going to talk here because some of the people that are very close to me don't know some of what went on and I know sometimes there are feelings harbored as people wonder if they did something and there's nothing that any person has done to cause any of that like there's no feelings floating around there's no somebody didn't do me wrong this is just stuff life right so Today, I really found myself thinking about honesty. But not honesty like telling somebody else the truth. Honesty like taking things at face value, okay? So, without getting into great detail, one of the things that, that we as a family have going on in our life right now, when I say we, I'm talking about everybody in our household one member of the family that well all of us have chosen our life you know myself I, I have a direction things that that define me and things that I contribute to the house but in all those you know there's me as a part of it and me being the the choices and the direction and all of that that, that comprise my life um, my wife Brandy the same deal, you know, she is a certain type of person and she has her quirks and her faults and just this extreme beauty. And I don't mean on the outside. Now, I I think my wife is absolutely stunning. I believe that she is just beautiful. And But what I'm talking about is the part that you can't see on the outside. My wife is so beautiful. She she loves you know and she genuinely cares and not just not just the way a lot of people think about love when they say the word like there's saying the words and then there's truly showing it and, and my wife is capable of doing that more than more than most people that i know definitely more than me um i love but not in the same capacity but, so, you know, it just gives you an idea kind of where this is going. Um, but each of us is our own person. We have our own traits, our own direction, and our own goals and things, right? As a parent, this can be extremely hard, uh, a very hard subject because, you know, we have a 26-year-old, uh, all girls, we have an 18-year-old and we have a 13-year-old. And, you know, the oldest has shown us who she is. And that's not good, bad, anything like that. I'm just saying, as a person, who is she, right? She's shown us who she is. Um, she has shown the world who she is. She is who she is. But it's interesting because I, as somebody who can sit there and say, you know, that I accept people for who they are, I see them for who they are, I take them for face value. I've seen that not all of us see things that way. And especially as parents, and this is really where I wanted to go with this, this is what I really found myself thinking about today and pondering. Do you accept your kids for who they are? Do you love them for who they are? And I know I do. You know, that that's where love comes into this, right? Because I love all my kids. I love them equally. I don't love any one of them more than the other. And I love them deeply. I would do almost anything for any of them. 
And I say almost, because that's where your life decisions come into play as a person, you know? Your goals and where you invest your time and where you put your energy and how that affects you and your life as well as the people around you, right? So the oldest has kind of made her choices and, and it's not just once or twice. Like the oldest has made her choices. She has shown us who she is and how she wants her life to be. And I have accepted that. Now, with that said, I'm not willing to support it. I'm not willing to enable it. I want no part of it. Um, but I love her nonetheless. You know, at any time, she can call, we can talk, uh, you come have dinner, you do what you're going to do. That's fine. But I am not going to stand behind and enable her to make those decisions on my behalf. Because when you enable somebody, when you give them the means that they don't normally have, to do the things they're going to do, you're an accomplice in that. And it's one thing to do that knowing and expecting what they're going to do. It's another thing to feel or to do that thinking that you can change that person. Sometimes you have to accept that somebody is the way they are because even if they tell you otherwise, like you've got to see through it. <clears throat> they're happy with their life. Like, these are the choices they continually make with their life. And if that's okay with them, even though I may not approve of it, even though I don't want to enable it or be a part of that part of it, I can do that saying that that is their choice. They have the freedom to live their life the way they want. Now, at any time, those circumstances could change, you know? They could decide that, you know, they're ready to close this book or close this chapter and move on to the next, and that's fine and well. But it may not always be what you want. And as a parent, do you accept, especially as a parent of an adult, do you accept your children for who they are? Or are you stuck on an idea of who you thought they should be? And it's not a right or wrong thing. Now, there are repercussions to making some of those decisions about supporting and enabling somebody. And, and that's not what this, this little thought, this little session was supposed to be about. It's just, do you really, especially those of you who are parents with adult children, do you accept your kids for who they are? Do you see them? for who they are. I'd be interested to know how many of you, especially if your children are other than what your idea of them was going to be, how you feel about that. Because personally, I'm okay with it. You know, we, we've given all of our kids the same opportunities, the same, um, what do you want to say? The same support. We, you know, they've all grown up in the same house with the same rules. Um, we've never really tried to push them to do something just because of our own parental pride. Like, you know, we don't want our kids to go play sports and do all, because that gives us something to brag about. We want them to do it because they enjoy it, because they get a sense of accomplishment and a sense of joy out of it and some pride, you know? Um, anything that our kids do, we, we push them to do because we want them to embrace who they are, to grow. And sometimes, you know, I mean, I've pushed our kids to do things that they didn't want to do. But sometimes, you know, you do that as a parent just to get them to experience other things, uh, to experience new things, to try to broaden their horizons, um, to open their mind to something that their mind was previously closed to. Um, but all that said, you know, I accept my kids for who they are. I love them 100% for who they are. Um, yes, there are things I wish they would do differently, um, but that's for me. If they're happy with their life the way they are, if they're happy with the decisions that they're making and, you know, where that takes them as a byproduct of those decisions, 
I'm okay with that. I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. I mean, I might here and there. Most, I think most of us can equate with that. But I wonder how many of you understand what I'm saying uh, from, you know, the personal strife of your kids being, your adult kids being other than what you thought they would be. And I don't mean, you know, I always wanted my kid to be a doctor, but instead they're a rock star. Or, you know, I really wanted my kid to be a plumber, but instead he, he went off to be a programmer. Like, I'm not talking about things like that. I'm talking about, like, in the core of the characteristics that define that person. Do you accept them for who they are? Are you okay with that? Knowing that they actively continue to make and maintain those decisions time and time again, making the same choices to go back to the same places and do the same things with the same people over and over again. Leave some comments below if you have any thoughts on that. There's going to be some more of this stuff coming up, just as, as I'm starting to really, you know, some of these things I've really come to grips with, and you know, you'd think as a, a 41 year old man, or a, well, let's say a 40 plus year old man, uh, with three kids that, you know, I knew who I was a long time ago, but my kids continue to give me opportunities to learn about myself, uh, to learn what kind of person I am, to change my viewpoints and my outlook on things, uh, to change the way I look at the world. And, you know, sometimes that's through uh, means other than I would hope to, to have to go through. But as people, we we probably continue to learn and adapt and change and sometimes have our minds changed and our outlooks um, structured and restructured based on things being other than what we expected them to be with our kids. I still fly. There's still going to be flight videos. There's still going to be group stuff. Um, but there's more to me than that. And I'm ready to let you guys see some of what that means. To have a little bit of a window into me is as a person um, on a personal level. So happy crashing and good day, evening, morning, or night.